So today we have a Lido Kayla battery and I bought it for $280. It took about three months to get here from China and it supposedly has 120 amp hours at 12.8 volt nominal, which makes it way cheaper than lead acid if it actually works as advertised. This is a very cheap product, so I do not have high hopes for it at all. Most batteries in this price point are absolute garbage. And a lot of people always want to save money when buying batteries because they're so expensive, but typically you get what you pay for. And this video is not sponsored. We've also tested and reviewed other Lido Kayla cells and some of them were awful and some were really good. So it's a mixed bag when you buy from this company. And this seems very lightweight for having 120 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate. So yeah, already this is not a good sign. Seriously, this is probably the cheapest case out there too. But who knows, it might actually work. So yeah, let's get started. First, we need to charge it up to full. And unfortunately, the label does not tell us how much current this battery can handle. So we're going to throw 75 amps at it and see what happens. I was thinking about yesterday and even the cheapest lithium iron phosphate batteries, the really bad build quality ones will probably last longer than lead acid batteries. But that's not saying much because lead acid batteries are pretty pathetic. I'm surprised people still deal with them. I mean, they do work. They do work but they are good for starting internal combustion engines and that's about it. And it's actually charging, so it was not dead on arrival. So I didn't even check the voltage. We're charging at 69 amps. We'll come back in an hour or two when it's done charging. So it's pretty hot on the top of the battery, but it hasn't caught on fire yet, so we're still good to go. Now we're testing the high voltage disconnect and it works, cool. So now we're gonna do a capacity test. I'm really curious if this will actually pass this test. I'm always rooting for these cheap batteries to be good, man, because it could really help some people. This thing is so small, look at it. If it passes, I'm gonna be pretty impressed, honestly. So we're all set up and now we're starting the test. Uh-oh, what was that? The voltage dropped for a millisecond, I don't know why. All right, we're good to go. We'll come back in about five hours and the test should be done. 104 amp hours. That is not 120. What do you know? The cheap battery did not work as advertised. What a bummer, man. I was, I was really rooting for this battery, actually. To make it very clear, it says 120 amp hours on the front, but this is not a 120 amp hour battery, unfortunately. These are hard to open nowadays, man. They glue them all together. So we're gonna use this. By the way, not sponsored. I love this tool. I use it to cut literally everything. But you have to get a carbide bit and then you can cut through metal, wood, literally anything. This thing is dirty. There's some fiberboard I hit and it just shot dust everywhere. And I almost hit the cells. I was off by like a millimeter. They're actually using pure copper lugs and nice wire. This is actually nicely organized and put together compared to some of the other ones in this price point, surprisingly. They actually glued down the plugs and taped down the wires. Usually they're all over the place and it looks awful. Look at how much they crammed in here. The BMS is flush with the cells. These are some big cells. So I'm guessing these are grade B cells, like 150 amp hour cells, and then they label them as 120 amp hour, which they've done that to me before from this company, now that I think about it. And it doesn't say the capacity on the cell. What a bummer. Usually it'll say it on the barcode somewhere. Guys, this thing is glued across this whole side. I don't think we'll be able to get it out. That smells so bad. Uh -oh. So unfortunately we have to cut this review short because I hit the cell's interior and the electrolyte started spilling out. That corner that I didn't think I hit, it was actually filling up the bottom of the case. And then when I opened it up all the way, then it spilled out. But luckily I had a mask on and I know how to clean this stuff up but disposing of this stuff is a huge pain in the butt. It is absolutely considered hazardous waste, and I'm pretty sure that desk in there is ruined, so I'm gonna order a new desk 
And it was only on one desk though, and not much spilled out. It didn't get off the table, but it wasn't that bad. It didn't spray anywhere. It just slowly leaked out, and then I freaked out. I cleaned my hands, I cleaned everything, and luckily this was not as bad as the last spill I had with the leaking cell. That one touched my skin, so that was really bad. But on the bright side, I was practically done with my review. So first, I'm guessing it's grade B cells. That's why they're so large and they take up the whole case. Usually I can cut around the top and I never hit a cell. But in this instance, because they were so big, I accidentally did cut into a cell. Next, the BMS looked like very low quality and it does not have low temp charging protection. Next, the bus bar configuration and the balance leads and the crimps on those were actually surprisingly good. Next, please do not try this at home. I hate when this happens. I do everything that I can to avoid it, but in this instance, I made a mistake. With all that said, for the price, it's probably still better than lead acid. I'm sure some people will argue against me in the comments section, but it still is pretty good. I mean, the capacity for the price is pretty remarkable, but I would never have these inside of a house or around children or other human beings. If you have a solar power system in a shed, far away from everyone, or you have a small solar power system for a gate opener, then sure, use one of these cheap batteries. But if you want a battery that you can count on for decades, do not buy these types of batteries. But it was still fun to test. I'm surprised that we even made it over 100 amp hours. So I hope you guys liked the video and I will talk to you later. Bye.